Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela Braniff. Today I am answering a question that we have gotten a ton over the last nine months since we moved here and got this farm. And I haven't answered it, not because I didn't want to answer it or I was avoiding the question, but because I just genuinely didn't have the answer. I hadn't really sat down to like break down the information and have a good solid answer for you. And that is how much do we spend on all of these animals? Like how much does it cost us every month to feed and care for this small zoo that we have here? It's not really a small zoo, but you know what I mean. We've got two llamas, six goats, 14 chickens, six ducks, five dogs, who am I forgetting? Two rabbits, a bird, a barn cat, and eight horses. So, <laughs> You might be wondering, what does it really cost per month to feed all of these creatures? And I am going to share that with you. I have broken it down. My dad is actually here working on his truck. So I was like, this is the perfect time. I can ask him about the horses because if you have been around for a long time uh, and you've been following with our family and this farm and everything, then you know that the eight horses belong to my parents. They're not ours. So the llamas, the goats, the, oh, I forgot the two pigs. The llamas, the goats, the pigs, uh, the rabbits, the chickens, the ducks, the dogs, the bird, the rabbits, I, those all are ours. Um, however, the barn cat and the eight horses belong to my parents. So I wanted to break that down and make that distinction because when I tell you, I, so I asked him, I was like, are you comfortable with me sharing how much you guys spend on the horses a month? And he's like, yeah, that's fine. So he broke it down for me and, and now I'm going to break it down for you. And now he is sawing something out there. Or that's an air compressor, I think. Hopefully you guys can't hear that too much. I'm sorry if you can and it's annoying. This is the only time I have to film this. I have multiple sick children and a massive busy week coming up. So I'm trying to get this done and filmed. So let's talk about what we spend in a month um, for the animals. So we have been, and this video is in, in no way sponsored by any of these brands or anything that I'm gonna talk about. One of them we have worked with before in a sponsorship capacity, but this video in and of itself is not sponsored. So Chewy.com is an online uh, store basically where you can buy all kinds of animal food, um, not just like dog and cat, but they've got a lot of different stuff. And so we were initially just buying everything at our lo local feed store, but um, it was getting to the point where sometimes we would forget and we would run out and all of that. And I really liked that Chewy had an auto ship. Normally I loathe auto ship. I don't like things that automatically do that. I'm like, ah, no. Um, but in this case, I really, really like having the auto ship option. So there's a couple of things to know when I give you these numbers of things, just know that the numbers are a slightly rough estimate as well as, because prices do fluctuate, um, as well as the monthly, like the timing of things, because certain times of year, the animals will eat more um, grain, for example, or more hay if there's not any grass, we'll get to that in a second. but. Point being, the llamas, we spend about $60 a month on the pelletized food for them. And they also eat hay, but I'm gonna go over our hay costs after I go over the individual animal costs. So they have uh, 60, we spend about $60 a month on llama pellets. We spend about 55 to $60 a month on goat, uh, their grain. They do add in a lot of things. Uh, my daughter, like for her pigs, for example, um, she adds in, I, I, I want to say their food is like $25 a month basically for the two pigs. And then we're adding in things like coconut oil and black sunflower seeds. We're adding those into some of the grains. So we do have different things that we add in. So I would say maybe an additional $25 a month in additive things. Um, that we purchase and sometimes mix in with the food, oats and things like that. Um, but the actual food itself, the basics. And the other thing that I probably should have led all of this with is that um, what we spend, I would definitely say is middle to high of what you can spend cost-wise for these animals. We don't do bare bones. Um, you can do bare bones and, and feed 
uh, cheaper than we do. It's just kind of where we land with it is that we're definitely more like middle to high end of the cost spectrum for feeding these animals. So know that as well. But um, so llama 60, the goats about 55 to 60, the pigs about 25, um, and the ducks and chickens is collectively about 100 a month. And that's because we, um, we'll see how that ends up right now. I just started doing the monthly auto ship for them from Chewy. And so the layer pellets that we get for the chickens and then they're one of the few places we could find an actual separate duck food. Um, duck food, believe it or not, is just not something that uh, most companies sort of blend ducks and chickens together. And in my research, they actually do need some different things. So it was important to me to find a food that was actually formulated for ducks. And I was able to do that at Chewy, like an additional kind of like treat food that we give them and mix in. And we also do mealworms and other things to like boost their diet. We uh, also give them a lot of stuff from the garden. So that's something that, you know, obviously isn't gonna be reflected here in the cost, but uh, what we grow in our garden, um, we will share with the animals as well, giving the chickens things and the, the goats and stuff like that. So the rabbits and two of the dogs are our daughter's pets that they actually pay for their feed and stuff out of their um, money that they earn out of, they pay for that out of their own pockets. Uh, but I would say the rabbits are roughly $30 a month for feed and um, hay, and then they give them a lot of fresh salad and greens and stuff like that. So that comes from the garden sometimes when it's available, but when it's not, um, my daughter will buy like bagged salads and stuff at the store and split those up and give them. So they get a combination of hay, rabbit food, and um, fresh veggies and fruits and stuff like that. The dogs, like I said, we have five dogs total. Two of them belong to my daughters and they pay for their feed. And they, we just started a couple months ago doing um, like fresh raw food for all of the dogs. And it's very expensive, I will not lie, but we have seen such an improvement specifically in our older dogs that I, I don't know that I could ever go back. I, I mean, it is expensive. We've worked with the farmer's dog um, on uh, in like a sponsorship capacity. And so that obviously helps to alleviate the, some of the, the financial costs of that for us. So that's an option and I do have, I believe I have another active discount code. I'll just, this video again is not sponsored by them in any way, but every time I share about it, I get a lot of people asking. And so I wanted to pass along the discount code again. So I'll put that down below in the description box. Uh, there are other options that are cheaper if you would like um, the local pet stores and stuff will sell like the tubes of the raw food and i would say you know you could do that for 100 150 depending on i mean with our dogs probably more like 200 a month um, for that type of dog food um, and then the bird I would say is maybe about $20 a month. So, and then the last thing is hay. So we buy a pretty high quality blend, um, Timothy and alfalfa hay, and it's about $14 a bale. And we go through about two bales a week. So with all of the other food and everything that I mentioned, plus the hay, that puts us at about $637 roughly, including that $25 for the supplements and stuff. It's about $625 to $650 a month in animal food for the horses. So like I said, there's eight horses here and they belong to my parents. Now, one thing that you should know is that currently we are in a pretty intense heat wave slash drought. Uh, with very little rain so the pastures are just there's no grass to graze we already have relatively small pastures for our horses um, more than you know i mean plenty for them to live on they're not cramped and unhappy but they're there's not like a ton of grazing grass so we already have to feed quite a bit of hay but in a time like this where we're in a bit of a drought and the grass is just like burnt up and gone it's even more hay so my folks are feeding uh 
one round bale a week per pasture and we've got three pastures of horses and those big huge round bales of hay are $65 a piece um, so they're spending roughly $200 a week um, or $800 a month just on hay for their eight horses so that's that's a lot of money <laughs> um, and then the actual feed itself is anywhere from four to five hundred dollars a month again my parents do feed a very high quality feed um, they have a senior feed that they give to some of their they have a couple of older horses and um, they really want to keep them feeling good and their bodies feeling good so they definitely feed a very high quality hay and high quality food um, but as you can see that's that's quite expensive for eight horses every month um, 800 and in hay and roughly four to five hundred in feed. Um, the other costs associated with owning a horse um, are farrier bills. You've got to have a farrier come out every six weeks and trim hooves. That's going to be anywhere from thirty five to fifty dollars per horse um, in every six weeks. And then the other thing I think that sometimes people don't think about in terms of cost of animals as well as things like land management. So um, fertilizing the pastures, seeding the pastures. Um, it's roughly to fertilize all three of our pastures is probably seven or eight hundred dollars. Now it's not that's not something that we do every month. Um, it's something you do a couple times a year, but it's that's a big expense as well. And then grass seed to get grass to grow and all of that. So like the land management aspect um, is also expensive we didn't touch on it all in this video vet bills i will say that um i think sometimes people get a little bit like yee because they're used to their living in town and taking their dog or cat to an in-town vet and what that costs and it's that's very expensive especially like depending on where you live even when we lived in a neighborhood we drove 45 minutes to a country vet because they were much more reasonably priced uh, but the local little in-town vets were very expensive um, so yes vets are expensive for farm type animals if your animal gets sick or really hurt that can be very very expensive but on the regular just basically we have a vet come out and do a farm call so they come out to us and they do anything that we need uh, for all of the animals at that time whether it's you know different trims or teeth floating on the horses or llama toenails um, or vaccinations for the pigs or whatever it is that we need um, and they also do just basic immunizations for dogs so they don't like they won't come out uh, you know and see Azzy if he's hurt we have a vet in town when he hurt his paw we have a vet in town that we go to but just for the general upkeep and keeping them on their schedules of wormers and stuff like that um, the vet will do that and then for the horses my parents also do a lot of things themselves uh, they do a lot of their vaccinations themselves my mom has a microscope and she collects their poop and does worm counts and worms them based on all of that herself she doesn't that's not something they have the vet come out for my dad's a farrier so he um, can trim horse hooves and so they save a lot of money by being really knowledgeable about their horses uh, that definitely saves them money but yeah i don't have a lot of like details on vet information for this video that will be something that especially because some of the animals we just haven't had long enough for me to get a really good idea of that so once i have that information i can share more about the vet costs and stuff but i just this is like a, a big question we get a lot is the cost of all of these animals in terms of their feed and taking care of them and stuff so i wanted to finally sit down and write it all out and share that in this video hopefully that answers the question i do kind of like this format of just answering one question more in depth instead of like q and a's where i feel like i kind of have to like breeze through everything quickly to get to all the questions um, for questions like this where it get asked it gets asked a ton and it's a little bit more of a beefy answer um, i like this format of just answering one question more in depth in a video so let me know if you guys like that um, then i will keep doing these because it's super easy for me to sit down and film these and do them more frequently so 
that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe if you've not already, and I will see you guys again very soon. Bye. I'll be a wrecking ball